Time is 627 and it's time for Ask Andrew. Andrew is taking all your questions, weather related, of course, and answering them with his ex excellent and expansive expertise. So, Andrew, what are viewers asking you about this week? Tell us. Hey, good morning, guys. We've been talking about this string of super moons that's going to be coming up in the next couple of months. In fact, one of them right here in November. It's actually just a couple of days away. And that is the focus of our question here this morning from Dave and Clinton. Which supermoon is going to be the biggest and brightest this year? Guess what? It's this one in November and it takes place two days from now, November 5th. Now you can see it. In fact, I saw it as early as this morning on my way and the moon was setting in the western sky. It was gorgeous and you'll be able to see it for the next several nights too. But yes, the November beaver moon, our super moon will be the biggest and brightest of 2025. There's another super moon coming our way in December and you got another one in January. So if you missed this one, you got plenty more to see. There's a couple more things in our sky too that I want you to check out this month in November. There's two meteor showers coming our way. However, I want you to really pay attention to this one here, the Leonids, because this one comes in November 16th and 17th, which is much further removed from our full moon. Anytime you have a full moon, it makes it harder and harder much more difficult to see a meteor shower because of all that light pollution in the sky. So yeah, we have the torrids coming in on the 11th and the 12th, but again, with that moon being, you know, still kind of full around that time frame, you're not going to see much. I would wait for the November 16th and 17th Leonid meteor shower to be able to see some of those. So lots going on in the sky this month. I'm sure we'll be talking more about this on Wednesday with Ask Andrew Live. It'll be at nine o'clock on the eight plus app. I'll be back on vacation again this Wednesday, so I believe it'll be weather anchor Peter Warner who will be in for me again this week, but make sure and join him Wednesday at nine o'clock on the eight plus app. Bring all of your excellent weather questions and he'll be ready to go to answer those.